the product rule. Now y equals u times v, where y is a function of x, u is a function of x, and v is a function of x. Now a change in x will cause a change in y, a change in u, and a change in v. So now by removing those brackets, we get uv, u times delta v, v times delta u, and delta u times delta v, just using that first outside, inside, last little rule. Now, because y equals u times v here, we can simply just simply cancel that, because that's equal to y, if you like. So that cancels out with that. And we get delta y equals u times delta v plus v times delta u plus delta u times delta v. Now, I'm dividing through by delta x, we get this result. It's putting everything delta x through all of these. Okay, now taking limits to both sides, limit as delta x goes towards zero here. And then in the second line here, what I've done, I've split up all these limits, as you can see here. All right. Now, and therefore, by taking that u out, there's the u coming out there, you see? I'll just emphasize that. There's a u coming out there. And the v comes out. And I've, sp and I've split this up. See, it's got your delta v on delta x times the limit as delta u goes to or zero. Now I can replace that delta u, remember, from the first video, because uh, as delta x goes towards zero, so will delta u go towards zero. And of course, all this will simply go out because that'll be equal to zero. And of course, uh, the limit as delta y on delta x, as it delta x goes towards zero, is dy dx. So that'll become dy dx u times, this of course is dv dx, and this is equal to du dx. And that is your chain rule. Sorry, your product rule.